Losing control in flight is a leading cause of fatal aircraft accidents. When a pilot allows the aircraft to depart from control flight, this is an undesired aircraft state, and if allowed to continue, will likely result in a loss of control and a fatal accident. According to the U.S. Helicopter Safety Team, loss of control contributes to 50% of fatal helicopter accidents. Let's talk briefly about loss of helicopter control on this episode of the Rotorcraft Collective. Loss of control occurs when an aircraft unintentionally departs from controlled flight. This can quickly escalate into dangerous situations for helicopters, such as unanticipated yaw, vortex ring state, or a low G condition. If the undesired aircraft state is not recognized and corrected, it can result in mass bumping, a tail boom strike, vortex ring state, or a loss of tail rotor effectiveness. Contributing factors often include poor judgment, spatial disorientation, a lack of attention, or pilot proficiency. Immediate corrective action is critical when you've unintentionally departed from control flight. Early recognition of your impending loss of control is essential. Environmental conditions, especially strong winds and downdrafts, are routinely linked to accidents that result in loss of control. Avoiding conditions leading to a vortex ring state during landing should be part of your planning for every approach. Another undesired aircraft state is loss of tail rotor effectiveness, or LTE which is one example of unanticipated yaw. Pilots should prioritize avoiding conditions leading to vortex ring state and the loss of tail rotor effectiveness. Recognizing the early signs of an undesired aircraft state is the first step in recovery. Key indicators include unexpected, uncomfortable, or uncommanded changes in attitude, altitude, yaw, or sink rate. It is imperative for pilots to continuously monitor aircraft performance and environmental conditions. If you detect these warning signs, take immediate and decisive action. Recovery techniques include adjusting the collective, managing the cyclic, and carefully coordinating the pedals to regain control. Training and practice in simulators can help pilots prepare for these scenarios. Fatal accidents have also occurred at night operations where the lack of visual cues resulted in spatial disorientation and catastrophic loss of control. This is especially true when flying over open water, snow, or other featureless terrain after sunset, which provides minimal visual cues. Recognizing, understanding, and practicing recovery techniques is essential. Regular training, proficiency checks, and staying updated with the latest safety protocols significantly reduce the risk of fatal accidents. For the FAA safety team and the U.S. helicopter safety team, I'm Chris Bauer.